Hello guys, my name is Hugo. Today I wanted to show you my new light Aperture 300D Mark II. Uh, so this is going to be a review about this light. And uh, I bought this, uh, so this particular light is here, the Aperture 300D Mark II. And also I got a spotlight attachment uh, for it, which I think is a very cool thing to buy for it. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to show you the package, what comes with it. Um, and uh, I'll show you what you can do with this light. So let's get started. So the light comes with this uh, bag. I think it's a very cool case, uh, very good quality. So the, the light itself is, is here. I really like the way it built. Uh, it's very high quality. It's, I think it's a lot better than Mark II. So the safety cup. Okay. So it comes with this dish, the safety. So it, when you transport it, it doesn't bend. Okay, the distribution box with a strap on it. I really like the way it built. Very good quality. So you have V-mount from both sides. You have USB here. And you also have the attachment, which is right here. So you put this one on the C-stand or wherever, and I actually like very much the way it made so like this very solid it's not gonna go anywhere very good quality even the cables are very nice the rubber is here also very high quality I really like the package. I really like the way they made it. So this is the longer cable to the AC. So it also comes with the remote. So this is the wireless remote. Uh, you can control a group of lights. So we have a few lights, you can make a group of it and you can control it simultaneously. You also can do it with a um, phone app. And that's pretty much it uh, for this package. It's a very decent package, you have everything. I like that it comes with the bag. It's really good. Because usually bag is, is something that you have to purchase separately. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at the spotlight attachment. This particular one is a 26 degree. Uh, I think it's somewhere in the middle because they have three options. So it also comes with this nice case and this is the attachment itself. So basically, this attachment is a Lico attachment. If you know about this light, it's called Lico, uh, where you, they usually use in a stage light and theater or somewhere in the events. As you can see here, there it has a lens and you can control focus by moving this. Also very high quality. I like the way it built. So this is for gobo attachments. I'll show you how it works later. Yeah, I really like the build quality of it. So basically the Aperture 300D goes right here. And actually it stays on this leg right here. It's nice. It comes with three go bows. Those are these. So basically it's a real re regular cookie. It's like a tree. And this is the window. This one's probably gonna be the most used one. But you also can make custom ones. Uh, if you want to make a logo. Okay, so this is the package and uh, 
Let's take a look what you actually can do with this light and why this light is so cool and why I got this light. So let's see, let's put this light on the stand and see how, how it works. So, so the protection cup, let's take it off. Let's put the standard dish. This is the dish that comes with it, but you can buy a lot of them, a lot of different kinds. Yeah, even the mechanism, the locking mechanism is very satisfying. Yep, nice. And I assume from different uh, reviews that I watched, everyone claims that this, um, this locking mechanism is very strong and it actually feels strong. Okay. okay, then we have this guy here. Yep. And distribution box. I really like the strap. So basically extra protection. But I really like this guy here because the way it mounts on it is just, it feels really good. And it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so this is the cable that goes uh, directly to, from the distribution box to the light. Let's put this on. And this one goes from uh, from AC power. I really like that it goes in here and goes out right here. So there is no anything on the side. So nothing's going to be uh, accidentally damaged, you know. So this is the daylight only. So in order to make light different colors, you'll have to uh, get gels here. Probably they, probably they did it for the color accuracy. It's very color accurate. You're not going to have problems with that. It. It's not going to give you any like uh, color tint or anything. So I also like that the increasements are stopless. So basically by increasing up and down, you don't see a difference. You don't have the steps, it goes smooth. And I would say it's, it's pretty bright. Even right now at the daytime, it's, it's really bright. So let's put the attachment on it and see how it plays. So in order to do this, um, I have to take off the actual light and put on the same place, I have to put the spotlight attachment right here. Okay, let's lock it. And it goes right here. So what's interesting basically that the leg from the attachment actually holds all the weight. It becomes this big light source, but you can do very cool thing. You can shape light, whatever you want. So you're gonna have full control of what light you want and uh, intensity and the shape and everything with this attachment. So I definitely, when I, when I uh, wanted to buy this light, I definitely wanted to buy with this attachment. So the light itself is, uh, I think it's 1100. And the spot attachment is uh, 500. It's pricey, and uh, but I think it's definitely worth it. Okay, let me show you what you actually can do with this uh, spotlight attachment. So let's power this on. 
100%. So if I open it all the way, you have just a regular circle. Let's adjust focus. So you see, I can adjust focus. Let's make it sharp. So yeah, as you can see, you have just a regular spot. But with these little built-in flags, what I actually can do, I can, I can just shape light. So for instance, uh, I want to make a light. Um, I'm just going to show you. As you can see here in between the mirrors, it looks like there is a light source built in in between the mirrors and actually the light coming from there. So what's interesting, you don't have any spill of light anywhere else. So you have like 100% control of this light. For instance, in narrative filmmaking or commercials, when you need to make a set design to make it look cool, or for instance, you need uh, a light source coming out from the from there, so you, you can be, uh, you can have a motivation of light on your people or whatever you want. So this is a really cool way to do. I can make uh, triangles. Some like I want, for instance, I want to do a light somewhere there. Okay, let's put it there. So I want to make like a square somewhere there. And as you can see, I can be very, very precise on what exactly I want to do. That's the beauty of this light. Okay. Also, for instance, uh, you have, uh, you don't have like tall ceilings and you want a light coming from above. And in my case, I have uh, concrete uh, ceilings and it's not going to work well. But usually you have white ceilings and white ceilings can be very well used for bouncing light. So for instance, I can do, so let me tilt the camera up so you can see what's going on there. So basically, I created a light source right there. Right now it's a daytime, you're not gonna see much, but even Right now, even from the concrete, I can see that actually the light is bouncing from it. But if you have like a white ceiling and you bounce it from a white ceiling somewhere when it's not that bright because I have like a lot of daylight coming in into my apartment. But like if it's more like a studio environment or control light environment, you can do this stuff and it's going to play very well. It's going to play like you actually have a light source above your subject if you need the lights to be so and uh, I mean literally you can you can do you can do a lot of cool stuff with this so for instance so you see this picture so for instance you have a task uh, to for instance you want to make your set design look a little cooler or actually you want to make a light source coming from there. So basically you can do this. You can... As you can see, I can, I can focus it. And that's what we got. Just look at this. You can't even tell there is a light source. But it looks so cool and... It can be a key light. For instance, you have a conversation here where you have a uh, very tight space to, uh, to the wall it, and you cannot actually place a light here, but you can bounce it this way. And as you can see, there is no spill. I don't, I don't have any spill on, uh, on me uh, from this light. 
This is like, it goes particularly on the, on the space that I selected. And I think this is amazing. You can't really do this with any other light, unless you have like uh, built-in light in this uh, picture frame. Is that cool? And let's, uh, let's check out the gobos we have. So, so it comes out with So we have this uh, attachment where we place gobos. So you just place it and you insert it. And that's what it gives us. So for instance, like it, it just a regular cookie, you want to make it uh, some kind of interesting background or lighting options. So you have it. Um, this one isn't my favorite, but probably someone's gonna use it. Uh, the one that actually can be used a lot is the trees. Yep. Okay, and my favorite is gonna be it's gonna be the window. Yep, like this. So let's. Isn't it cool? Look at this. As you can see, you can do a lot of cool, creative ways. I think it's a great tool for narrative filmmaking uh, because you can uh, basically make a light source from places you didn't expect. You can actually make something, and uh, I, I really like this light. I think it's a, it's going to be a very good. Uh, working tool. I hope all this information was useful for you. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye.